The chance of North Korea conducting a fifth nuclear test to mark the ruling Workers' Party Congress seems to have dimmed, according to latest satellite analysis of the North's nuclear test site. Some experts say personnel exchanges, I mean changes at the Congress, may indicate a migration away from nuclear development. Kwon Suwa reports. It didn't happen before the Seventh Workers' Party Congress. And it may not happen anytime soon. The latest analysis from North Korea monitoring website 38 North suggests a nuclear test is not on the horizon. Satellite imagery of movements at the North's Pungeri test site from May 8th show low levels of activity at the main portals and vehicles at the command center that were present on May 5th are no longer there. The possibility of a nuclear test was also debated among U.S. experts on Tuesday during a discussion organized by 38 North. President and founder of the Institute for Science and International Security, David Albright, said it's impossible to predict the timing of North Korea's next nuclear test. He added there are indications Pyongyang is preparing for a test, but it's hard to know when the regime will, quote, push the button as the North has made it difficult to determine from outside if a test is going to happen today, tomorrow or next month. Another expert said Kim Jong-un's nuclear ambitions may have made a turn since the Congress. We got some things that suggest that he might start leaning a little bit away from the nuclear. Military is strong enough, in ideology we're strong enough, but we have to work on the economy. The scholar also mentioned that Kim's offer of military talks with Seoul, which he made at the Congress, is important. He cited South Korea-U.S. joint military exercises slated for August, saying they would increase tensions again, and even worse could happen. South Korea, however, made clear that it thought the North Korean leader's proposal was insincere and that talks can only happen with denuclearization first. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.